they told you your heart was a weakness. They told you so long that your heart was not to be trusted, was all too easy to carry away with flights of fancy, with fears, with longing and with wishes. But what would it be if you allowed yourself to open your heart to its fullest power and potential? How would it be if you were to open your heart to all that it has to offer? Would you come to recognize, I wonder, the power that lies within this heart of yours? A power which is not just to feel, but to know. To feel what happens in those around you and to know what is your own belief and what is for the greater good of all. The power to filter the knowings of your heart from the feelings of those around you, this is quite the power. Know also that the heart is the fuel for your power of creation, the fuel also for your power of release. They have minimized your heart and told you that your heart is nothing, for they try to minimize your power. They try to keep you caged and lead you to believe that there is no power which can free you, no power which can open the doors and lead to a greater beginning. Look to your heart. Hold it under your hand and feel the way it pulses within you. The way it pulses lead you in a dance, a rhythm of one footstep after the next, of one moment after the next, that carry you forth on a journey throughout your own being, a journey throughout your own life, a journey throughout your own history, the history that lies within your blood and your bones as much as within your own self. When you feel the beat of your heart, you feel the gift that was given to you by the ancestors. You feel the commonality which every living being within this, within this earth possesses and has always possessed. That is the pulse of life. Were you to listen deeply enough, heavily enough, hard enough to what pulses under your hand, you would learn that you do not only feel the pulse of your own life, you feel the pulse of the life of the earth, the pulse of the life of the universe. And when your own heart can be connected to the pulse of the universe, to the pulse of the world, this is when the world can change and shift. This is when we are all enabled to step onto that path, to dance along to that rhythm. Join me. Join us all in dancing to the rhythm of our hearts. Join us all in walking a path to the rhythm of our truth, the rhythm of what will be. This is not a rhythm that is unfamiliar to you, for it is lived within the cavity of your chest for the whole of your being. This is not a truth that is unknown to you, for it is one that has lived within you, taking seed and growing in the deepest longings of your heart. This is only a truth that feels foreign to you, for you have been told that it is one you must refrain from. Told that it is one that you can only dream of. Is it not time for this to change? Is it not time for you to grow? And grow in line with that rhythm. Grow in line with that truth. Grow in line with that power and allow all that was always yours 
to unfold within your heart, to unfold within your light. Where would you go next if the beating of your heart called you forward? What would you say next if those lyrics were sung to the rhythm of your pulse? What does your heart ask you to create? And how does that passion stir within you and lead you forwards, onwards, outwards? and inwards. Your heart has so many of the answers. If only you can begin to trust it. If only you can begin to listen. If only you can begin to interpret. To dive past the lenses that have been placed upon it. The accents that have been attributed to it. And to understand instead its truth. A truth that led me from a place of restriction into a land and a life of freedom. A truth that calls you on the same path. That will ever call you on the same path. Listen. Pause. Hear how it does not just beat but roars within you the pulse of life, the pulse of universal life, and also the pulse of your own unique soul, your own unique experience here. When you follow that pulse, when you allow it to be heard, to be heeded, you will be carried forward, supported. You will be guided and will know the correct step to take in any moment. But you must recalibrate the relationship between yourself and your heart. You must come back into a place of your own oneness and use that oneness to lead you, to guide you, to inspire you forward. Your heart is the key to the future. Your heart is the key to the change. Your heart is the key to all. Be in it. Be of it. Be yourself and know that that is enough.